morning. What's occurring? Well, today we're off to Llangarog. We are meeting friends and we're really looking forward to a good weekend. So stay tuned and see you now in a minute. Ow! Oh, what's occurring? So we have been away for a couple of weeks. The last one was uh, Oxford Bay, which we had a great time down there. But we've been busy, busy working, that horrible word. But we're away this weekend up to Llangarog. It's a proper site. Yeah, at a proper site. Fully service pitched. What was it? 20 pound a night? Uh, little CL, um, it's a hard standing. There's a couple of pubs um, that we will try out, I'm sure. No, it should be good. Really looking forward to it. We're meeting meet, friends. Yeah, we're meeting up with Helen and um, Kevin. We haven't seen for a, a long time, really. We've seen her last summer. Yeah, we've seen her in Aberystwyth, but that was only just for a quick chat, wasn't it? We haven't been away with them for about three years. We've seen them for about three years. I think we found Garrett was the last one. Anyway, looking forward to seeing them. Yeah, we just went over a bump that had no markings on it at all and David had to slam on but we're okay. Hate that, really really hate that. Yeah it's only about 45 minutes from where we are, weather is pretty naff but I don't care, the fridge is full of wine and beer and food and we meet your friends so we're going to have a good time. So we're just going over the bridge of Llandilo Beautiful views. Oh, the river Tawi. Is that what the river's called? Members only. That's a 
Baron's Court. And here we are. There, and we're here. So we're here. So what do we know now then? You open the fucking gate. <laughs> That's what we do. Well, hello and welcome to Barons Court Caravan Park, a little CL site in Flan. I got it wrong earlier. <laughs> Where are we? Slangarog. Slangarog, is it? Well, I thought it was Slangarog, but it turns out it's Slangardog. Well, right, correct. <laughs> so anybody... Which is in between Slandilo and Slandivry. Yes. Lovely little C CL. Yeah, they're uh, half as far that? as where we were supposed to be going to Rian. In fact, we yeah. said, we oh. said we made arrangements, we were going to see some other friends, they were going to call in to see us, and I've just had to let them know now that we're not in Slangarog, we're in Slangarog. How far away is Slangarog? It's about halfway we, we are now. <laughs> It'll be another hour. But um, anyway, we're here now. The weather is pretty crap, really, isn't it? Yeah. But it's not going to... Um, it's drizzle, you know that drizzle that gets you soaking right through. Yeah, it's not going to take away having a fantastic weekend. Lovely little site, it better be even nicer in the summer. Um, the owners of the site are Nick and Stephanie, and he was very. A bit of warm welcome, yeah, explained everything. Very hospitable. Explained lovely, everything. Little, uh, lovely little site, it's on a. Well, it's like a menagerie here as well. What's a menagerie? I thought that'd stump you. <laughs> What's a everybody, menagerie? Everybody will know apart from Rian. What's well, a menagerie? There's lots of animals and stuff. Oh, is that right? Okay. <laughs> so there. So this we're the first year. This interested in animals anyway. I married one, didn't I? Oh. Uh, yeah, so let's have a little look around then. There. So, so we are we're the only ones here at present. We've got friends on the way. But, uh... As you can see, lovely big hard standing pictures. We're in number three. As five hard standing and two grass pictures. All with electric and water available. So we are here, they're all pretty level. And up there, we've been told is the That's there. Black Mountains. A bit of a drizzly day, the Black Mountains, a little trip over there. Though are, but if you look down here, we've got ducks and sheep and goats and all sorts. We've got African goats or African sheep that look like goats. That's what it was. No, he said they were African goats that look like sheep, didn't he? No. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually listen. Out of the weather at present. Have our viewers look seen our van. new stickers? Look at the van. Look how dirty it is. We only come up the bloody road. Yeah, so there. So we've got our new stickers, so please, viewers, if you see us about, drop us a comment. Give us if a you honk. See us and give us a honk. Give us a honk. And also, I thought I'd stick a flagpole in today for some little reason. Because as we were leaving, post what came, we've got. You'll have to jump higher, love, for that. <laughs> there, we've got a little flag too. Marvellous. So up there we've got the rugby club and we've got the lion pub as well, which is in the village. up in the in the village. And we've got these fields that you can see ahead of us, and those that black little hat and the sheep there. That's all part of the premises. Right. So we're up there 
on our own for now. For now, yeah. There's the main road, um, just up the lane. Baron's Court house itself there. And that's where the owners live. The owners live there on site, so you can all see. And here is the entrance to Baron's Court Caravan Park. It's a CL site of the Caravan Motor Home Club. And I think someone's oh, coming down here, look. Who would that be? Is, is that, that them? Uh, that could very well be them. I think, it, yes, they are turning in. So the friends are turning up now. There they are, look. <laughs> Just turning up. How is it, Kev? In, they also got a Contiki, it's a little bit, a little bit newer than ours are. And Ria now can be the gate. You can park gate. anywhere. There's only five yes, pictures anyway. Saying, They've all got electric entrance. and... Eggs, fresh eggs on sale, yeah, pound for half a dozen. Yeah. We shall indulge in some of those for brekkie tomorrow. All right. And as you come in... I've paid everything, they know you're coming. Just go and set up, but we'll be about half an hour or something. Animals, yeah. Chill out, yeah? Have a look, just help yourself, really. Bit of goat stew or something like that. Bit of duck, bit of the sauce. Eat it. So, there you go. And there's Rian. Oh, we are? Great lady. Well, that was good timing, wasn't it? Eat it. And there we go. Should we go down and look at the animals then? <laughs> there we go. Look at these lot coming out to see us. Huh? Hello, you lot. Look at you then. Hello. Someone's happy to see us. Hello. Joe, you. you're happy Aww. to see us. Have they had their horns? Did they, they have horns or something? No idea, love. This one's head is yes, bad. Yes, he said, oh, yes, over there, he said. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Wow. I am got food, sorry. And another one by there. Hello, see. Hello, hello. Oh, don't hello. like you. Hello, hello. I don't like... Look, sell, like sell by date's gone in this one. Stew tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, stew tomorrow, see. I give you the chickens as well, can you? Yeah. Oh, there we are. Oh. Why is he? Ken, he there's water there, mind. On your pitch. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there's some different ones, these are. I have to look what, what these ones are. These are different ones. They're these have got horns. Hello. Separate they are, hello. Hello. Ducks in there, all locked up. Oh. Is it ducks or chickens? Oh, chickens are down there. Chickens don't quack, love. Don't they? Oh no, they go chick, 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 chickens! <laughs> chickens in there, chickens on patrol. What do ducks go like then? Not duck, 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 duck. Yeah. <laughs> so there. And chickens go chick, 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 oh, chickens. Oh, they must have them out, didn't you? Well, look at all. There's Rian. She starts snoring the night she's in there. Yeah, right. So there. Sunday lunch sorted. So there we've got now Nick little... giving his intro. He's quite informative, tells you everything. Yeah. Very much think? so. In fact, I think it's one of the, the only sites that I've gone to that have given me, the given group. us so much information, really. Yeah, yeah great. And uh, there, that's where he lives, with Steph. And uh, it's lovely. So any issues, he said, just knock the door. So if it gets a bit cold, I'm having a spare room. He doesn't know <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, and it's is, literally uh, a stone throw away, isn't this it? This is a little shower block. So we've got a toilet. We've got a toilet in here, absolutely spotless. Won't be now I'm using it, try. <laughs> <laughs> Shower cubicle. Got a little stool there and a holder for your clothes etc and in the corner there you've got for your shampoos and stuff you really it is nice and warm in your wash up area for your dishes 
It's covered as well, which is great if you don't want to use your van and another toilet at the end. Yes, so, so yeah, very adequate, very nice, fully tiled, lovely views. Good job. Blimmin lash. Looks like the owners have actually got a motorhome themselves as well. Um, and they've got quite a few solar panels there that they use for power here. And there he is, Nick himself. Right, so we thought we'd pop up the town. It's a little bit quiet. Hang on, have a look around. It's quiet. The Red Lion and the Goose and Granite. Is it called Goose and Granite next door? We're not we, allowed in there. Yeah, we, we, we booked a table for 8.30 in there. But i got to say, the Red Lion is enormous for the smallest part of the pub. It's rammed. It's and it's great. Rammed. It's what we like, where you've got locals that'll sit and have a chat and that's yes. what we like oh. we love the old pubs yes like, and they, and like this so hospitable they've been lovely oh great that is great so this is the red lion and it looks very very quiet it's enormous so suddenly lenting here is fantastic however it is a pub that was banging cracking brilliant but because of covid they had to close certain things so yeah fabulous pub uh, we're having a great time and let's have, go and have a look where the main bar is now which is the smallest part of the pub but it's brilliant and there he is and it's tiny here Donna's the landlady and she is fabulous they used to do food in here and they will uh, I'm sure they will when the seasons opens up in about March I'm sure they'll be doing food again so we're in the Red Lion, it's Helen! I'm in the Red Lion in Santa Garro. Santa Dog, sorry. So, guys. Oh, what's the the red lion and it's absolutely bouncing in there fabulous place fabulous people if you come into this area please come to the red lion fabulous hi good morning hello 
Well, we've come to the end of our three-day trip. Well, two-day trip. Another weekend gone. Another weekend gone. We've had a fantastic wallet, time. Wallet's a bit lighter. Yeah, a little bit lighter, isn't it? Yes. We've had some bad, great hospitality here with uh, Nick and we then met Steph. But oh, she had to shoot off early this morning. We had some eggs off uh, Nick this morning. Fresh, Fresh eggs. eggs. They were lovely. We had some boiled eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Kevin and Helen have left. Um, they've had a great time as well. And thank you very much, guys, for yeah, your husband's great. hospitality. Great weekend. Good laugh. Yeah, we were supposed to go for lunch today, but we've made other plans. It was in the Goosen Cuckoo in Frangadog. Um, we couldn't get a table in there last night, but things have changed, so we can't go back there today. But we'd like to have a big thank you to Donna, the landlady or the manager in the Red Lion. We had a really good yeah, night there last good blast night. Of All the locals, very welcoming. Yeah, Great they fun. were they were lovely. They did used to do food, but because of COVID, um, they're not doing it at the moment. But they will be later on in the year. And also, Donna owns the pub across the road, the Castle. Unfortunately, that was closed again because of COVID, but will be opening later on in the year. It's a lovely area, so a good couple of pubs in walking distance. Uh, Ten minutes walking, is it? Yes. So without, yeah. Without falling in the ditch, ditch on the way back. Until next time, if uh, you like our vlogs, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We are growing, which is fantastic, and press the notification bell so yeah. you wouldn't miss any of our videos either yeah uh, so it's bye bye from what's it barons court yeah Barons cl court. site caravan motor room club lovely little site great clean spotless and we've had a great time yeah all right see you all soon see you now in a minute Ta -ra. oh what's occurring <laughs>